Hey everyone, Eric here with Basin and Bandon. As you've probably seen, the brand new Crispy Colorado GTX is fresh off the boat and we've got it here in the shop. But we've had some folks ask, well, what is the big difference between the new Colorado compared to the classic Summit or the Nevada? And at first glance, you may think that the, the Colorado just looks like a, a new colorway of the, the classic Summit, but it's actually a completely brand new platform and even though it's got the same mixed materials of the, the suede leather and the, the Cordura, um, just like the Summit, uh, you'll notice you know it's got still has the same polyurethane coated leather rand. Uh, big upgrade there is that this is now triple stitch with Kevlar, so you've got a lot better uh, durability in that rand. But the big big thing you'll notice just visually is the Colorado now has a polyurethane midsole, whereas the Summit has always had an EVA midsole. And so what that's going to do is provide a lot better shock absorption in this boot. Uh, without a lot of weight increase. So when you're coming out heavy, you're packing out an elk or maybe a big mule deer, coming down that steep stuff, you're always slamming your ankles, you know, in, or your, your heels, excuse me, into the, into the ground. This is gonna absorb a lot more of that, that impact and basically just keep the fatigue from building up in your feet when you're doing those long pack outs. As well as just hiking in, you know, going uphill and downhill, your feet take a beating, so that polyurethane midsole. Uh, this is a dual density. You can see the different colors here. So it's got the right type of stiffness in the right areas. And it's also going to give you a lot better uh, lateral stability, you know, compared to the EVA midsole. Uh, but it only does that in about three ounces of, of weight uh, increase. So this is about one pound, 10 ounces, as opposed to one pound, seven ounces with the Summit uh, and about a size nine and a half. So really uh, marginal weight increase so still you know this is always the summit's always been considered a, a real lightweight boot so the new colorado really isn't that much more of an increase uh, but you get much better stability and absorption in this this sole or this midsole in addition you get uh, the ankle bone support system which has always been known you know as a nice benefit of the nevada so basically you've got memory foam built into the, the ankle section here that conforms to your foot and over time that creates a real nice pocket for your ankle. Again, coming out heavy, you've got a lot of weight, a lot of that pressure is, is in your ankles and you have much more tendency to, to roll your ankles, especially when you've got weight up high, you know, off camber, we're covering country, going over a lot of logs, you know, down, down logs, down timber, uh, boulders, things like that. So, that ankle bone support system is going to give you that stability you need in still only an eight inch boot uh, to be able to, you know, not, not have to risk rolling those ankles when you're moving through the country. So that's a, a big upgrade for this boot as well. The other thing I noticed is it's got a little, just slightly wider toe box. It's a, a little bit more comfortable toe box than the Summit. Uh, so that is one, one thing that some folks didn't like about the Summit as opposed to the Nevada. Uh, so this is a, a good compromise. Just a little bit wider, you know, you can get a little bit wider foot in there. They do make this in a standard and a, a double E wide, so you've got some options there, but just in general, it's a wider toe box, which is, is a bonus. The other big difference uh, on paper is that this is a four flex rating in Crispy's one to five rating system, whereas the Summit and the Nevada are both a three. And at first, you know, people are maybe a little scared about that. They, they don't want to get too uh, into too stiff of a boot. But my take on it was that this is not really that much stiffer than the Nevada. Maybe just slightly, but not, not to the point where this feels like an alpine boot or, you know, you're, you're feeling like you're walking in ski boots when you're going across the flats. So this is still a great flexibility for being in the high country, being on those steep north-facing slopes when you're chasing elk. Uh, maybe even some of the, you know, goat and sheep hunts uh, where you're in that, that steep country constantly. It gives you just enough purchase so that you're not crushing your calves all the time. You know, the, the boot itself in the midsole provides enough um, stiffness to get you up those, up those steep sides uh, without much effort. So that is also a bonus. Just like all the Crispy boots, it has a, a vibrant sole that tends to get stickier as it gets wet, which always comes in handy, especially during those, those bow hunts where we're getting those here in Colorado, getting those uh, you know, afternoon storms. Uh, and it also features a full Gore-Tex liner, uh, just like the other ones. So 
you know, get a good breathable boot, uh, but that keeps you dry when you cross some creeks or, you know, in those little swampy lowlands, things like that. So, and it also does it for a price that's really not that much more than the Summit. So you get a lot of upgrades in this boot, boot uh, up to, this is $349. So again, reasonable priced, good looking boot, comes in a, a gray and a green. Um, give it a try. I think you'll be happy. It's a, a very comfortable boot and one that uh, is definitely going to last a long time. So if you want, find out more information at basinandbend.com.